Hey, hey, Gemini. So you know who it is. It's Tetra from Tetra's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader. And I'm here to bring some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. And we'll get into this. So when I was meditating on the energy before getting on here, um, I feel like you're dealing with someone who is actively watching, um, stalking. This is somebody that you're not speaking to though. Okay. I, I, I saw a page of swords in reverse. Okay. So this is somebody that you're not in communication with. Okay. But they're actively watching and stalking. I don't really like that page of swords in reverse energy. Also, I get petty energy off of that. So this is somebody who could be talking about you and not in a good way with others, okay? I feel like that you, this person, I feel like this person had you in a third party situation, okay? But I feel like you're coming out of that energy, okay? And you're coming out of that heartbroken energy, that three of swords in reverse energy, you're coming out of it. And I feel like the fact that you're coming out of it is causing a tower, okay? I feel like you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but I feel like it may be causing a tower. And what I mean by a, a tower doesn't have to be like this big disastrous um, thing. A tower is could, also, could just be a shift in thinking or a shift in the way that you used to do things. And so if I change how I normally do things, like if I change and stop doing morning readings, that's going to affect you because you guys look for the morning read. Okay. So a shift in your thinking or a shift in the way that you're doing things, um, is bringing out is to me, it's uncovering some issues that they have that they were trying to cover up with you. Okay. I feel like one of those issues had to do with money and I don't know why I'm here or why I I've been saying this about money for like the last week and a half but I feel like a lot of you guys were the breadwinners and a lot of you guys were the ones spending the money I feel like this person was codependent on you in terms of finances okay but with you shifting seeing things for what they are is affecting their money it's affecting their financial situation okay so that's what I, um, that's what I, what I got from the meditation. The first card out is, well, the overall energy, okay, is choose wisely. So there's a bunch of directions. I feel like you have a choice. You, you have some options or some choices about what you could do, which way to go. Okay. I feel like you're going to need, and again, because I say this a lot with us, we're very logical. We're mental people. So we're going to use our logic. We're going to use facts. Okay. We're going to use past experiences to make a decision. In this case, that's not going to, that's not what's going to be practical in order to make the right choice. You're going to have to move, use your intuition. Okay. And a lot of the times what intuition tells us to do is not what our mind would tell us to do. Okay. So just keep that in mind, but I get high priestess energy from this. I feel like you're going to have to use your intuition to make this choice, to make the wise choice. Okay. I feel like this choice that you make are, is, is going to bring you wish fulfillment. Okay. It's going to bring you wish fulfillment, nine of cups here, and it's going to put you on a firm foundation. Okay. It's going to make you stable. I feel like you're bored with the status quo. You're discontent and bored with what you've been dealing with in terms of this situation and this person. Okay. So I feel like one of the choices is about moving on. Okay. And I feel like your intuition is probably telling you to move on. Okay. But in what direction heart chakra is out here. Um, so some of you guys can need to work on your heart chakra. Some of you guys should be listening to your heart. I'm going to clarify that because that can mean a lot of different things that I don't want to say, Oh, well you need to listen to your heart and your heart is telling you something other than what your intuition is telling you. Okay. Because your intuition is in your gut. That's why people say, Oh, I knew it in my gut. 
That's where your intuition is. Or that's where it comes from. Your heart can play tricks on you. So let's clarify heart. <clears throat> clarify heart chakra. Some of you guys' favorite color is pink. Some of you guys is um some of you guys would Okay, so you could be dealing with a Taurus here, a fellow air sign, a water sign, okay? But I feel like there's somebody who's tugging at, so I feel like this person tugs at your heart chakra. What I mean by that? I mean that when making decisions about this person, you use your heart instead of your head, okay? Which is weird because we're normally not known for that. But this person gets under your skin emotionally. This is somebody who you let get close to you, okay? This is somebody who didn't want commitment, okay? <clears throat> but even though they didn't want commitment, you couldn't seem to walk away from them. And it still seems that way. Or vice versa, this person can't walk away from you, okay? But this person didn't want commitment with you in the traditional sense, okay? This is somebody who... This could be a soulmate with this six of cups here in reverse. But also, this is somebody who you don't have good memories or this person has left a bad taste in your mouth by the way they've done some things with this three of cups here. I feel like I feel like they want a reconciliation here, okay? Or they're trying to come back around, which is that page of swords, what I told you, page of swords in reverse energy. I feel like this person is not speaking to you, is not saying anything to you. But definitely, um, I feel like, yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so this is, again, this is somebody who I really feel like money was involved and you were giving the money out. Because this person, I feel like, caused an instability, okay, with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you guys probably never really had a stable relationship. This person was probably never stable financially, okay? I also get the sense that maybe... With, with this three of cups out here, family could have had, with this three of cups and this ten of pentacles out here in reverse, somebody's family could have had a major part in why this relationship didn't work. Because three of cups is not, you know, just about third parties. Three of cups could be somebody's sister, somebody's family. You know, it could be a lot of things. But I feel like, one, this person may want to reconciliate with you with this three of cups out here. But also, I feel like, it could have been someone's family that caused unhappiness here. It could be dealing with a Leo. Let's clarify, choose wisely. Clarify, choose wisely. Okay. Mm. So I feel like you may have... Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I see this already. One more. Yeah. So I feel like you've gotten yourself to a place where you are doing well financially without this person with this nine of pentacles up here. Okay. I feel like. This Ace of Cups, Queen of Wands, this is you loving on yourself. Okay, you found a new sense of self-love. Some of you guys have lost weight. Some of you guys are, you know, looking really, really good um, physically. Okay, you're doing good emotionally. You're manifesting all the things that you want. Okay, some of you guys are manifesting the things with, that you want. And now this person wants to come back with this Five of Pentacles in reverse. I also feel like they want to come back because they may have some financial issues. Okay. Again, with the pinnacles. Um, and you sitting over here with pinnacles up to your eyeballs. Okay? So, you know, this is telling you to choose wisely. Okay? Do you really want to go back and put yourself back in, a, back in a situation that you came from? Okay? I mean, that is so clear and straightforward. It don't get no more clear and straightforward than that. 
Clarify intuition. So I feel like your intuition is telling you. I feel like your intuition is telling you. This is the second time wish fulfillment has come out here with this nine of cups. But I feel like your, your, your intuition is telling you if you release this situation with this hangman in reverse, it's going to bring you wish fulfillment. I feel like your intuition is telling you not to start a new beginning with this person, that you know this person can't be trusted, that you know this person doesn't make good decisions, that you know this person is reckless. Your intuition is telling you to fall back from this person, okay? Could be dealing with a fellow air sign or an Aries, okay? So that's what your intuition is telling you. If you release this situation, it'll bring you wish fulfillment. Some of you guys aren't speaking to this person, like I said, with this page of wands and reverse energy. I also feel like this person kept you at a friend level. Uh, never moving the relationship past to make it more in, uh, permanent or important or prioritize it, especially with that hierophant in reverse. Could be done with a Taurus or air, uh, fire sign here. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of you guys aren't speaking to this person. A lot of you guys are focused on your money. Okay. With this queen of pentacles here. And it shows with this with this uh, nine of pentacles. I feel like a lot of you guys are focusing on money, okay? So a lot of you guys are moving on. Some of you guys are putting the boundaries around this situation, okay? Which is a good thing. And with this king of swords, a lot of you guys have told this person that that's what you're gonna do, okay? Or that's what you're doing. Which again, like I said, when I was meditating on the energy in the beginning, that caused a tower. Now this person's trying to scramble, trying to see how, you, how they can get back in your energy because you've probably never went this far before in, in, in cutting them off. I see, a I see a lot of you guys using your logic, okay? Using your head over heart instead of using your heart chakra, okay? You're using your crown, crown chakra. Yeah, a lot of you guys, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of you guys are ending this cycle because you see things for what they are okay with this seven of cups in reverse a lot of you guys are, are, are making a judgment to release this toxic situation could be dealing with a capricorn okay but a lot of you guys see this for exactly what it is and you're releasing it okay let me get one tester's tarot because we're already at 13 minutes here one hmm. let down your guard and open your heart Okay, so this may go with that heart chakra, but I feel like it's more so letting letting down your guard and, and open up your heart to others. Okay, because again, a lot of you guys are solely focused on money, on your money, your career, your finances. Love takes a back seat for a lot of you guys. So Gemini, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.